Welcome to this technical video, which aims to provide an overview of Force Copilot's insertion nodes. For the purpose of this video, a Roboteek Adaptive Gripper is mounted on the robot in order to showcase the joint feature. The insertion nodes can be used to perform spiral, rotational, and linear movements, to insert objects in holes or bores, or to make contact with a surface. They are an essential integration resource for streamlining robot programs in a framework of precise assembly applications. In order to add an insertion node, tap the program button in the upper ribbon of the screen and tap the UR Caps button in the left pane. Select Insertion. Tap the insertion node in the robot program to edit it. Please note that the parent insertion node is automatically followed by a zero sensor child node. The command window will display the available child nodes, namely the spiral node the rotational node, and the linear node. Let's start with a spiral node. Selecting the spiral option brings up the spiral menu in the command window. Following a contact established between the object grasped by the end effector or the end effector itself and the corresponding matting part or surface, a spiral motion is engaged to find a path of least resistance. Back to the command window, the user can insert the destination waypoint and select the direction in which the end effector will be added prior to performing the spiral search. Advanced parameters can be set by the user, namely the speed, force, and radius increment. Ticking the Enable Pack Mode button enables the retraction of the tool between points of contact. The pack mode can be used when the contact surface is fragile and needs to be assembled carefully. Let's go back to the parent node, the insertion node. This time we will focus on the rotation option. Following a contact established between the object grass by the end effector or the effector itself and a corresponding matting part or surface, a rotational motion is engaged on the z-axis to find a path of least resistance. In the command window, the user can insert the destination waypoint and select the direction in which the end effector will be headed prior to performing the rotational search. Advanced parameters can be set by the user, namely the speed, force, and maximum torque. Again, ticking the Enable Pack Mode button enables the retraction of the tool between points of contact. Let's go back again to the parent node. This time, we will address the linear option. Following the successful spiral, rotational, or location of a matting hole or bore, a linear motion is engaged according to parameters set by the user, namely the speed and force threshold. If you had not noticed, each child node includes an error condition, which is basically an if statement. If required, the user can enter a value in the error condition box of the node and ask the robot to perform an action if the condition is met. Let's look at the spiral insertion. In the advanced parameters, we can set a maximum radius to enter the error sequence. When the condition occurs, the pop-up is displayed on the teach pendant. For the rotation node, the error happens when a maximum angle is reached. In advanced parameters, select the maximum rotation angle allowed before entering an error. And lastly, let's look at the linear error condition. In the advanced parameters, set the maximum travel distance before entering the error condition. 
maximum radius and activate a pop-up message on the Teach Bandit. This covers the insertion node feature of Fursco Pilot. We hope you find this useful. See you in the next video should you need more information on our products.